Until two years ago, the Citrus College women's swim team was on a three-year hiatus due to budget cuts. With a fresh start, Andrew Silva was hired as a head coach, and since then, the team has been in a competitive race in the Western State Conference. Uh, to date, this, this past season, um, the third season that, I, that I've been here coaching, was, uh, was arguably the most successful season um, that the program has had since I've been here in, in a number of years. The Western State Conference is noted as one of the toughest conferences in Southern California, but with Coach Silva's guidance and extensive coaching history, he led the Lady Owls to a fifth place finish, which the coaching staff considers to be a huge accomplishment. And uh, we had a swimmer that qualified for three individual events, uh, went on and swam at state, uh, finished 11th in the 100 butterfly, uh, finished uh, 16th in the 100 freestyle, and both of those were very, very impressive swims. In order to compete with some of the best, the team takes their training seriously even months before competition. The girls train hard twice a day, hitting the weights in the morning before class and jumping in the pool in the late afternoon. Because um, swimming is unique in a way that um, it's all about preparation. Um, oh, if our your more successful programs and your most successful swimmers are going to swim their fastest and swim their best races of the year at the very end of the year, well, it's all the preparation work that starts before that um, that allows them to be successful. Like this year, we have a really strong group of swimmers coming in, and we had way more people than last year, and um, which I think is just a positive thing. We were like 30 girls. So for us to be able to work as hard as we want to, we need to have open communication. Their team chemistry has also made a positive impact in their success, and although considered to be an individual sport, the Lady Owls come together and motivate each other in the pool and in the classroom. We're best friends, so we've been through so much together just within practices, and then I think with competitions it's been really interesting seeing how much we support each other. and it's. It's not just on a, a swim level, it's like, you know, we support each other on multiple levels, I think. Not only do they excel in the pool, but 16 girls on the 2015 roster have been admitted to the school's scholar baller program, which requires the student athletes to maintain a 3.0 GPA. The big thing that we stress as a coaching staff and as a program is regardless if that opportunity presents itself, regardless if they think they can go swim at a four-year school after their time at Citrus is done, um, we're making sure that academically they do everything possibly right to put themselves in a position to transfer. With a program dedicated to both athletics and academics, there's no doubt that these girls will be successful. Since the Citrus College swim team has sprung off the block in full force, they have no plans on looking back and will continue to make waves both in and out of the pool. From the athletic department here at Citrus College, this is Vanessa Mojica.